everyone. Welcome to Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel. This is the channel where we are learning more about very innovative farming techniques. Today, we've traveled all the way to Lambwe Ward, Agulukitua village, to meet this great farmer who is really practicing permaculture as one of the ways to help us fight the part of climate change. Please stay tuned so that you can learn this new innovation and learn more about Eagle Garden, why you need to have it at home, and the reason why you need to start implementing. Welcome to Samuel Ondieksana's permaculture farm. The farm is located in Lambwe Ward, Kojobe sub location, Agulukituo village. The farm is called Jikasa Pharmaculture Farm. Uh, in this farm, why pharmaculture? We talk of pharmaculture because pharmaculture is where we integrate different activities within one. We have garden farming, we have tree farming, we have animal farming, we also have poultry and many other integrated farming activities within one. In my farm, I have modern farming techniques system. In this farm, I have uh, dairy goat farming. At the same time, I have uh, tree nursery farming. I also do uh, man compost manuring, uh, fruit farming, uh, bee farming, and vermiculture farming. As I told you, this is an integrated farming where there are poultry and animals and I want to maximize every space within my home. I just want to start from my doorstep. And for me to farm this, I must safeguard and give animal space to graze and my space to do farming. That is why I done this maximum protection. The one we are studying before is called Keyhole Garden. Why do we call it Keyhole Garden? This is the garden which has been established with a key. This is the key which opens the hole. The hole is here. How is this farm established? This farm is established when considering so many factors. One, we want to do proper land maximization. We can farm within a small space, but maximize the production. How is this farm established? There is a measurement which must be measured here. At the middle, there is a hole, and in this hole is where we are doing complete composting. Why do we do composting? We are doing composting because it is what is going to feed this farm. How does it feed it? Or how do we do composting? First, we measure at the center of this farm one feet radius. It means the whole re diameter of the hole is two, two feet. Then we fix or peg the, 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 the pegs round and we ensure that we remain with the hole. After doing that, we break the soil where we have measured, then we start the proper composting method where after breaking down just at the uh, at the hole we bring the twigs the twigs are the dry matters which can break easily we put a half an inch 
Then we bring in the dry matter. The dry matter are the dry grass. Then after that, we bring the wet, uh, the wet manure. From wet manure, then we bring the green manure. That's the green, the, the green leaves. Then after after that, we spring the ash, the wood ash. After doing that, then we followed with the uh, with, with the top soil. At each and every every layer, we ensure that we spring the water, so that we bring the wetness. Then, because it is at a smaller every half a half an inch, we we'll have to re de repeat the system. But when repeating now the second layer, we don't now bring in the the twigs. Why twigs? We were just using it for the first time so that we bring in the macroorganism. These are the organisms which we can see by our eyes, which are going to activate the composting system. So when we are starting with the second layer, we only now bring the dry matter followed by manure, wet manure, then we bring the green, the green leaves, wood ash, topsoil, and each and every layer we must spring water. We don't pour, we just spring so that we make good condition, conducive environment for the macro and microorganism to start activating the do, do the composting. Why do we bring topsoil? We bring topsoil because this is where we have microorganisms. These are the organisms we cannot see by our eyes, but they are there in the soil. They are the ones which are going to activate the decomposition to take place. So after doing that, we ensure that we do the composting until it reaches to the level of something like one meter height. Then we measure from where we have pegged our pegs, 90 centimeter or one meter. Then after measuring that, we encycle the whole diameter with the stones. After doing that, this is now where we bring the compost manure mixed with the topsoil, then we raise it to this level. After raising it, this way now we have to open the hole. If you stand here, it is not easy to dump any materials here. But when you come here, you can easily dump because you can easily access the hole. That's why we are calling it keyhole garden. The hole which will help us to dump materials in the holes. Where do we get the materials? The materials we can get from any kitchen remains, like the remains of vegetables, anything which has come from the kitchen, we can bring it here every day so that the decomposition takes place. After establishing it, then you can start doing your planting. When you are planting, you must have you must have you must have a triangle system of planting triangle system of planting is where you plant in a zigzag way you don't see, you don't plant straight because we are encouraging that so that the plants or the vegetables don't compete for nutrients that's how we plant here what can we plant here because this one takes time and resources, we need to plant crops which has got high value. Plants like, crops like, vegetables like the kales, the spinach, and even the ones which usually takes time. But we cannot bring 
uh, vegetables like 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 black nasset because they usually take short time. So when we are establishing these farms, there are some basic principles which must be established or must be addressed. One, in these techniques, we have four basic principles. One, we have the use of natural resources as a principle. On establishing this, we have just used the stone, the ones which we have not bought, the natural resources. Uh, this one, there is what we call soil fertility. How did we end up? said that when we are selling the soil must be mixed with a compost manure at the ratio of one to two. One part of manure and two part of topsoil. We mix here evenly, then we raise it like this. That is true. Thirdly, there's what we call water and soil conservation. This is where now we do the mulching. This one will reduce the ever transpiration of water in this farm. And the last is integrated pest management. We will plant the onions and even the, the especially the onions, the spring onions, and even the dania, so that it repairs the pests which may invade the farm. We are saying that because this type of farming, we want to ensure that there is health aspect. We minimize the use of pesticide at all costs, but we use the integrated pest management strategies. As part of integrated pest management strategy, we minimize the use of pesticide but we can make organic pesticide. How and why? We can use the organic pesticide by using the natural tree leaves around, fermenting, and we use the slurry from here to spray on our, uh, on our vegetables. Like this one is one of them. When you want to know the best, uh, the best weed to use for organic pesticide, you will look at the, the, the darkness of the dark green and the softness of the, of, of the leaves. And more especially, the leaves which are not being attacked by any pests. These are the best plants to use for making organic pesticides. To limit the use of pesticides we buy from the, from the agrovet. But this one we'll only use if, after you see inter integrated pest management and you, you see some elements of invasion, pest invasion, is when you resort to organic pesticide. These techniques, so many people around have adopted through the trainings I've imparted in them. As we speak, I'm a certified train of trainee, have trained more than 10,000 people, within and without. Um, people have embraced this because of the advantages. One, with this there is high production and productivity. At the same time, with the elements in it, it tries to address the issue of climate change. Because one, the way we, with the use of the four basic elements or principles we have used is addressing the climate change. And again, we just don't want farm because people are farming. We want to ensure or we want to encourage people to farm a small area, but the production and productivity increases which in returns bring money in the pocket. And that's the sense why people do farming. Thanks so much and I hope that you have learned something. From this episode, please take note and don't forget to So that together we can be able to increase our own Thank you.